Hey, happy Tuesday. It's Tom. I'm actually recording this on Monday. I'm here at Woodstock First Baptist Church up here today to listen to some of our uh, frontline case workers uh, from Cher the Cherokee County area, try to get their feedback and their input on how we can continue to improve the culture of this agency uh, to increase your ability to do your work and decrease your workload, which is really our goal for the coming year. Um, it's been an exciting uh, week. We've, uh, we've had uh, so many of our uh, youth who are in foster care graduating from uh, high school and technical college and, and college, um, including uh, last week there was a great event up in Cobb County where we had a number of graduates. Um, First Lady Marty Kemp came, Representative Burt Reeves came and gave a, a speech. Uh, it was just a great celebration of how these young people have overcome adversity and really triumph in, in obtaining that degree and setting themselves up for future success. So I want to really give thanks to all of you in Cobb County um, who are in our, uh, in our agency who really made those children's lives better. And I certainly want to congratulate all of our graduates. Um, also, speaking of Cobb County, we have our Destination Hope, our road trip coming up. On June 24th, there are a couple of big events that I want to make sure we, we highlight. Uh, one is sort of our State of Hope, uh, what we call our, um, sort of our, our Civic Conversation Roundtable. I want to make sure that we invite lots of folks. Uh, Ramirez is going to put up the invitation. You can go and sign up and register for that. Please invite your community partners to do so. And at the same time, the same day, June 24th, in the Cobb County area, we're going to be having a specific discussion with um, all of our uh, kinship caregivers. And this, Ramirez will also put up the link so that uh, those who are working with our agency and caring for Ken, or who are just simply caring for Ken and want to come talk about what we at DFACS are doing to assist in that. We really want to invite those kinship caregivers to join with us and see how we can improve their ability to do their work and see how we can better partner with them. Um, so that was an exciting uh, event last week. We also had some, uh, some issues that we've got, especially on the OFI side. You may have heard if you're working in OFI that we've had a number of issues with Gateway lately. Um, those have, have resulted in some notices going out that have sort of fouled up the system a bit and probably will create some delays for other notices going out. We had some SNAP and uh, TANF benefits that were uh, issued uh, a little bit too early. We also had some TANF benefits that were issued incorrectly. Um, and of course, what we, the way we're finding these issues that crop up in Gateway uh, is because y'all out there in the field are um, conscientious enough to send in a help desk ticket and whenever you have an issue. So please, uh, if you've got any kind of issues with Gateway, please keep sending in those help desk tickets because that's how we're able to find out when there's an error and to stop errors and fix, uh, fix code and, uh, and upgrade the system as we go along. Um, just want to thank all y'all for what you're doing. Uh, it's going to be um, like a wet week up here in Atlanta. Uh, looks like there's a lot of rain coming this way, uh, but hope you have a good work week. Uh, please uh, let me know what we can do to help you out. Um, if you have any ideas on how we can help uh, retention especially, how we can help uh, make your work environment better, and how we can safely cut down on your workload while uh, giving good service to the people of the state of Georgia, we're always open to your suggestions. So thanks very much. We'll see you next week.